This problem is about 1D motion. Take a moment now and read through the problem, picking out any key facts as you go. Okay, let's go through the problem and highlight any keywords. So what we're asked to find is how deep is the well, with deep being the key word there. Information that we're given, we're told that the coin is dropped. So we're going to highlight that as that's actually a key piece of information. And the noise is heard when it hits the bottom 1.8 seconds later. So the first stage is to draw a diagram. And luckily for me, that isn't a very complicated one. So we start with the coin. It's dropped, so it falls down. And at some point it hits the bottom of the well. I'm going to start by defining our axis. So I'm going to find upwards as the positive y direction. And then we can fill in things that we know. So we're going to call the initial displacement y0 at the top. What we're trying to find is our final displacement, or y final, at the bottom. Other things we can fill in. If we say that it's released at t equals 0, then the coin will hit the bottom at t equals 1.8 seconds. We also know that because the coin was dropped, that its initial velocity at the top, the second it's released, will be zero as well. It doesn't have any initial velocity, it's not thrown, it's just released. So it'll start stationary and then start to fall. And after it's released, the coin will accelerate downwards and the acceleration is due to gravity. So that'll be negative because it's going downwards and 9.8 meters per second squared. So now we're going to need to use the motion equations under constant acceleration. So the first thing to consider is which of these are we going to need? We know the initial displacement, we're trying to find the final displacement, we know the initial velocity, the acceleration, the time. So the equation that has all those things in it is that one. So we can fill in the numbers. So our final displacement y final, will equal our initial displacement, which is 0, plus the initial velocity, which is 0, plus a half times minus 9.8 times 1.8 squared, which, if we type that into a calculator, tells us our final displacement is equal to minus 15.9 metres. So that is our answer, that the well is 15.9 metres deep, and what the minus sign tells us is that as we defined our positive axis upwards that the coin has fallen downwards which is good things should fall downwards under the influence of gravity